So my daily schedule at the centre started with a uh, Palestinian breakfast, traditional breakfast. We would sit around the table uh, with uh, hummus, uh, um, with uh, bread, oregano, sesame and oil. Uh, the Palestinian breakfast, then would go for us lawyers in Palestine, we would go to, to courts and tribunals around Hebron, Dura and uh, different villages in the south uh, and the north. And also uh, we would visit uh, refugee camps, we'd go to um, schools and uh, obviously we would learn about the situation here in Palestine. Um, and all of this was very, very informative to make us aware of what happens in different parts of the world. Uh, my experience learning Arabic in Palestine uh, was uh, very good. We had very, very good teachers. Um, the lessons uh, ran very smoothly. Uh, we were able to learn basic Arabic. My time here in Palestine was, uh, uh, however, very short. Um, but even though it was very short, we, we did uh, at least four and a half hours of, uh, of Arabic. Uh, I can I ask basic questions um, of Palestinians now, um, and I can understand uh, uh, basic words as well. So Hebron and Palestine in general feels very, very safe. You feel like you're at home. Uh, walking down the streets, um, you can greet anybody, they will respond. They will offer you a, a, um, a cup of, uh, of coffee or tea. Um, approaching anybody and asking for instructions is, uh, uh, again, very, very simple. Um, and uh, people have a smile on their faces at all times. To those considering doing the program here in Palestine, I would recommend um, that they don't do the same mistake like me. They need to stay for more than one week. They need to, uh, to take their time to experience the culture, um, to respond to the invitations of the local people, to go and eat with them, um, to experience what the uh, real Palestinian culture uh, really means.